Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another setup tips and tricks video by the AKA Impact Racing League YouTube channel. I am Slade J84. Back here again with another setup tips and tricks video. We are at the Texas Motor Speedway for this one. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down the setup that uh, we used. Um, this is my setup. I pretty much ran fourth third all day. Um, yeah, so it's a very good car. We're gonna get to here. This was after the click update, so I don't have to adjust anything here specifically for the update. So we're just gonna, of course, go ahead and put five and negative five, like usual. Next, we're going to get to miscellaneous settings first, just because they this is where you want to start pretty much, because uh, the front sway bar on the cameras. The front sway bar will be at fourteen thirty-five. No rear sway bar in the car, of course. Our track bars will be at twelve fifty. The left track bar will be at 12.50, and the right track bar will be at 13.00. The brake bias will stay at 60, and the grill tip will go to 40. The wheel lock will stay at 10, the steering offset will stay at 150. Next, go to the shocks. The shocks are at 4, 4, 5, 5, 4, 4, 5. And five. Anything lower will give you chatter into the corner, into one, and uh, hurt your hurt your speed through the middle of the corner. Left weight will stay at 54.2. The front weight will go to 50. Wedge to up 50.3. Uh, front right hat will stay, and the rear right hat will go to 4.125. Spring settings will go to 1150 for the left left front spring, right front spring 1050. The uh, right rear or left rear spring spring will stay at 400, and the right rear spring will go to 500. Tire settings: uh, the left front tire pressure will stay will go down 26. The right front tire pressure will go down 32. The left rear tire pressure will go to 28.5, and the right rear tire pressure will stay at 30. The gear settings will go to 3.05 for first gear. 1.95 for second gear, 1.35 for third gear, 105 for fourth gear, and 310 for your rear end ratio. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, I was just a change of gears. Um, probably should go 215 and 145 is where you want to go. 215 and 145, that's an adjustment right there. Let's go practice. We're going to do a qualifying session. Um, see what we'll get All right, in the 42 car because Swope Fan B2014 drove the 42 car. He's going to win the race. We're going to drive his car for the session. We will shortly be dropping the Bristol Septits and Tricks video in about an hour. So expect that. The car is really loose in the center of the corner. If you can't handle that, go ahead and bump your wedge up. Got have great control of the car. Let off a lot right there. Stay low of the corner. Make sure that bump... Ooh, wow. The bump didn't affect me, but I just got a little loose with the control right there. So the car is very, uh, I won't say unstable, but it takes a lot of control to drive it. 28.7, that's not <laughs> really that good at all. Um, let's see how we run the race, though. I expect much faster. We've got a little uh, loose come off the corner, so we're going to go ahead and put the wedge up. Uh, click right there, 50.4. Just tighten it up a little bit. You know, I think the 40 tape, a lot of people will get scared with the 40, the tape being higher than 30 or 25. The reason the tape's so high at 40, I could probably even put it maybe a click higher. I'm not going to do that though. Because the fourth gear, or my uh, fourth gear uh, on the track is a maxing out around 8,285. 8, so you can have uh, your tape pretty high if you're, um, if you're not maxing out at very high RPMs. Now I want to go higher than 40. Uh, 45 is probably actually the max. But um, we're going to get to a race, see what time we can get, and see how good the car is on a long run setting. Coming to the green, driver. Be ready. Ready. Green flag, green flag. Car outside, hold line. You got room, you're clear. 
I don't even worry about the AIs, you know, they're not really much of a threat, but I just want to see how much how good this car is. Long run. So the car is um for the people who aren't that great at holding uh that great of a stick or holding a good wheel, I would tighten this. So when we tighten the car up, would I fix the wheel lock and bring the wheel lock down a little bit? Just because the um it's a little sensitive, you could say. But I turned the stick right there and it just warped it in the turn. Got off pretty early in the turn one. You want to watch that bump though. You saw him qualifying and the bump kind of got me a little bit. We want to watch that bump. So we went in a little bit lower and arc the corner. Turn three and four, you should be full throttle. This car is really loose in three and four, even though it's not even letting off, but it is very loose. We make sure you keep a straight stick. There we go, six. So you're maxed out around 84 RPMs going to turn three and turn one, or turn three. So uh, the tape, you know, temperature is 214. So yeah, honestly, 40 is probably the max you want to be with the temp being at um, 63 there. We're going to watch the temp these next two laps to see the highest it gets. If it gets around 220, we're going to want to bring that tape down. Ah, there's that bump got me right there. Yeah, the bump can hurt your lap time a lot here, a tenth or two if you just hit it wrong. Some people always, uh, no, 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 some people always ask me um, the camera uh, preferability. Honestly, if you can watch your surroundings, the hood cam's definitely better because you like see the nose of your car, you know where to get it into. Texas doesn't really matter um, unless you're you know, right in the very bottom. Um, so does apply Texas though, so you can get that nose nice in there, you got a good view of it, get down in the corner. But um, if you're not really comfortable with uh, you know, being able to you know look at the rear of your car and your surroundings from on the hood, go to chase cam. I prefer the hood, but whatever your preferability is. Didn't even let off right there, which kind of hurt me. You'll have a, a higher speed throughout turn two if you arc it a little bit, but that does give you a risk of opening up the bottom and possibly scraping the wall. My goal is to hit a five here. I don't know if we'll do it, but we'll see if we can. We've hit a lot of low mid sixes, which is uh, really good for us hitting <laughs> mid seven in qualifying. There we go. Oh, mid five. There we go. So we can go full throttle one and two here, test something. And the bump didn't even guess that bad either, so it's just testing this car. This app, you can go full throttle one and two when you get into a run. How about that? Car tightens up a little bit, and the tires get a little worn. Also, it depends you have good uh, control of the car. I mean, if you don't have good control, you're gonna be able to throw it in there. I mean, we get a four here. Might have let off, got a bad entry. Yeah, I let off a little bit there, center of the corner. Got to 178 miles per hour. Remember for the ones who just click on our setup videos, because something pop up your pops up in your tab, remember we have truck races and Xfinity races, or super trucks and sportsman races on Tuesdays starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, that's when the uh, Xfinity race start. Trucks will end around 10.30, 11 o'clock. Oh, we got the Elite Grand National Series of the Cup Series on Wednesday starting at 8. They'll end around 9.30 or 10. Um, set up videos throughout the week. Morris Jr. is uploading his set up videos. Uh, you have the podcast on Saturdays, which is always fun. Me and Dave, you fan, getting here and talk about how the week went. Our picks for the next week. Anyway, 5-2-4, best we could get with this set up. Not bad at all. Pretty good, actually. 5-2-4.
Remember, if you, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. The first of one will come out shortly. And then tonight, we should have our dirt series coming up. Yes, we have a dirt series now, which will be broadcasted hopefully Monday nights at 10 p.m. Eastern. I believe they're going to be able to broadcast it. And I'd actually do a new fan had something come up. Anyway, it should be broadcasted on the uh, Impact Racing YouTube channel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, like, subscribe. We'll catch you guys next time.